My name is Fiona Pop, and I'm pursuing a master's degree in electrical engineering with a focus in controls and robotics. And I am conducting research for my master's thesis with the NREO. The purpose of the Neuromuscular Rehabilitation Engineering Lab is to improve the quality of life for people with physical disabilities. We investigate the um, control mechanisms of the neuromuscular system for both able-bodied and um, individuals with uh, neuromuscular impairments. And we uh, develop the interface for the human and machine um, aspects um, using, and we apply these technologies to uh, upper limb and lower limb prosthetics, exoskeletons, computers, and other assistive devices. My name is Joseph Berman. I'm a PhD student uh, in electrical engineering in the R NREL lab. Uh, I'm working on upper limb devices. So with this lab, there's many different fields and many different projects that we have. Uh, it kind of goes into signal processing, machine learning, controls, robotics. Mm -hmm. uh, I really felt like this was a lab where uh, I could get in here and uh, easily find a project that was going to interest me. But we have a lot of new creative ideas going on in this lab. Um, some of our current research involves, for instance, of uh, using visual feedback with some of the prosthetic devices. Uh, in a lower limb, we can have a mounted camera that uh, allows the uh, leg to adapt to different terrains. And in the upper limb devices, we can use the camera to identify different grasping targets and allow it to uh, adjust itself accordingly. Um, I've been fascinated by robotic prosthetics since I read an article about Amanda Kitts in a National Geographic magazine in high school. And uh, in that article, they talked about the research being done to allow an amputee to control a robotic prosthetic by flexing different um, muscles. And the, um, I was drawn to the NREL because of the work being done on the uh, myoelectric control of upper and lower limb prosthetics. And also my passion for robotics and helping others align with the goals of the NREL. Um, one of the biggest challenges that we face in the lab is uh, the additional engineering difficulties that a human participant adds. Uh, the interface between the device and the person is essential and to help with this we, uh, we work with prosthetists who help design and fabricate the socket which is the mechanical interface between the residual limb and the prosthetic itself. Um, we also uh, work with physical therapists who help guiding the participant um, during testing and uh, training sessions. So getting to see the uh, amputees come in and test our devices and controllers that we've been working on really lets us see firsthand the impact we have. The work we're doing now could go into a next generation prosthetic device that restores somebody's natural ability to walk or gives them simultaneous control of the hand and wrist again. One of the projects in the lab is looking at the uh, different terrains that you will encounter when using a prosthetic device um, in order to uh, allow the prosthesis to switch between different modes. And that project is looking at being able to predict what uh, state uh, the prosthetic needs to be in. Uh, this is one of the devices in our lab uh, that we work on projects with. Um, so it is an exoskeleton that allows uh, lower limb movement for people who have paralysis um, or other lower limb uh, impairments. And the motors on the side uh, provide assistance um, for the participants. Uh, so kind of all around you with these cameras, you can see this is our uh, bike motion capture system. Um, we place these markers on some of our participants uh, while they do different movements, and uh, we can use these uh, these trajectories that we get uh, in a lot of different projects. For mine, uh, we can measure EMG signals while uh, participants do different movements, and we can actually collect that and use that as training data for machine learning models. The NREL allows students to learn about interesting technology and robotic devices. Um, this technology provides uh, a large array of um, aspects that a student could be involved with, including the mechanical design of devices, um, the development of control algorithms, and understanding the biomechanics of the device. Um, the lab is multidisciplinary, so students will be able to learn about fields outside of ECE, and lastly, the work that the student does will 
directly contribute to um, improving the lives of people with physical disabilities.